We're still tracking Hurricane Dorian as it slowly makes its way to the southeast coast. We have new reports showing the storm has dropped to a Category 4. Good afternoon and welcome to 12 News at Noon. I'm Rachel Keller. Jeff, is it possible for Dorian to weaken lower than a Category 4 before it gets to Florida? Yeah, it is possible. I think probably a more interesting question is how close is it going to get to Florida because the hurricane winds only extend out about 45 miles from the center. So if it stays anywhere, say about 60 miles or farther off the coast, they won't see the hurricane force winds uh, along the coast of Florida. Now, right now, winds are 155. That's only one off a of category five. So if it gets to 156, it's a category five. So it's just below category five, even though it's officially a category four. It's just drifting off to the west, northwest at about one mile per hour. Once again, how close will it get to Florida? That's the big question as we go through uh, Tuesday and again on Wednesday. It'll be off the coast. We'll have to wait and see exactly how far uh, they're going to get a lot of rain and they might get a lot of wind. We'll have to wait and see exactly how close they get to the storm. Then it tracks northward close to the Carolinas. It might even clip the Outer Banks of uh, North Carolina as a Category 2 hurricane with winds at 100 miles per hour and then eventually takes off out into the Atlantic. So uh, interesting track over the next uh, week and we'll see how close it gets to the southeastern coastline. Like I said, it all depends on a couple of miles here or there. Uh, we'll look at our forecast as we go through the next several days. It looks like a hot, dry forecast for us. We'll have that for you in just a little bit.